Mama56 here. I'm just going to do a video on the Horcrux ring that belonged to Marvolo Gaunt, who was Voldemort's um, grandfather. And we're also going to look at Marope Gaunt's um, locket, which belonged to Salazar Slytherin himself. So I'm just going to have a look at these items. Okay, we're going to start with the locket. Um, it has a massively long chain. It really does. If I just lay it out for you, yeah, that is the chain. It is huge. Um, it does, this is the back. It does um, look very much like the cave locket, apart from the front, where obviously you've got the S, um, the snake for the S for Slytherin. Um, it does have a lot of writing on both sides. It's metal. Um, but this is kind of a plastic resin. Um, I really would like to know what it actually means. It does open up. Ta-da! Sorry about that. Um, and it is green velvet on the inside. You don't get any origami in this one because this one isn't the fake one. It's not the regular black one. It is the one Marope sold for 10 galleons. I mean, oh my God. She got ripped off. But hey-ho, what does she know? <laughs> uh... The display box just has Harry Potter written on it, and it's black, and it's got a mirror on the inside. It is exactly like the one from the cave, even down to the cute little hooks, which you can dangle the chain on. And one last look at the locket. 30 to 40 pounds. I got this one from Hamley's, um, and there it is. Next is this item, which I absolutely adore. It's display case, apart from the fact it's being brown, because I actually think the Xenophers love good um, display box, which is black. Um with white for the symbols um, is awesome because the Xenophers love good um, Deathly Hallows pendant is awesome and it's got a lovely display box this display box is awesome as well you've got gold at the top the symbol at the side you just have the cloak which is the triangle and the circle is the resurrection stone which is obviously in Marvel Gaunt's ring so here we have this belonged to one of the Peripheral brothers, which then belonged to Salazar Slytherin's ancestors, which then belonged to Salazar Slytherin, which then belonged to Marvolo Gaunt, which then belonged to Voldemort. So it's had quite a history. Um, the stone is a resin. It does have the proper Deathly Hallows symbol in. Um, I'm sorry that if you can't see it, but it is actually there. I think you can just make out the triangle, but it is actually on this ring. If you turn it upside down, the gem does look a bit tacky. That's my only problem with this ring. Um, it is pretty sort of primitively done and it is kind of rough and ready and it does have a sharp point there. But it does fit on my finger. But um, to be absolutely honest, if I was gonna actually wear this, I can't get it off now. That's the problem with these cursed things. Um, if, if I was absolutely honest, I'd get a gold chain and wear it around my neck rather than uh, on my finger, purely because of that point, and it can be quite heavy and uncomfy. Um, and it is pretty cool, because it does look like it's being held by two snakes. Um, and it does have um, slightly wobbly lines on it. Um, I'm going to put it back in because you'll probably be able to see it better and it goes nicely in there, clips nicely in and I'll show you the inside of the box which does have a quite cool effect so there you go, look, it's pretty cool ah, my phone number um, so yeah, these are the items this one I got from the Forbidden Planet in London it was the last one on display the other one I got from Hamleys they're great, 30 to 40 pounds check on eBay, check on Amazon do your research before you buy them because um, they do cost a lot so look out for my other videos I am going to do one on all my ones at some point it's half term so I'll probably do it this week okay, enjoy, bye